This is the ID Band channel. Today we are going to focus in on bringing your TV to your computer. Uh, we've got capture cards, a couple of different types, uh, one for your laptop, one for your normal PC, and let's get into it. Um, this is by Aver Media. This first one I'm going to talk about. ATSC, QAM, here's the little card. Uh, let me show you a, another piece of the... Okay, here it is. The, in, the, in the computer itself, this is my entertainment computer, you'll see the little black arrow. The little box, little silver box, that's where the coax is getting a little boost. And it is a great card. The quality is outstanding. Here's the here's the back of it. It whatever signal is coming through, that's what you get. You get the Blu-ray quality. This is uh, this is CW. This is nineteen or no, it's two eighty. So it's seven twenty p. This is the software you're using. It comes with it. Uh, you can look at it. As it's recording, you can change the channels uh, by the sidebar. You just pick the station. There's a little record down here, and you can watch while you record. Uh, there's different, if you double, double click inside here, it'll go full screen, get the mouse off, and then it'll uh, show the everything the way it should be. Yeah, it looks like regular TV. And you can you can play this. You don't have to record if you don't want. This is Wheel of Fortune. So let me uh, hit the back arrow, get out of that, so we can see what's going on with this. Um, this records an MPEG. So it's ready to burn. Although I can show you the free editing software where you can go in and edit out the commercials. Okay, here's a commercial. I'll get to the software here. Let's bring back up this. Um, you can have multiple programs running. Uh, that would be like in the corner. Uh, some of these are so big that they can't go in the corner. But like um, uh, westerns can go in the corner. So you can, if you've got news, if you want to see your show you want to also have it on a news channel you can have those both playing at the same time okay I forget exactly what I paid for this uh, if it was in the 80 or hundred dollar range but this is a capture card and it's a TV uh, card so it's it's a hybrid they don't sell these anymore I don't think unless you can get them on Amazon or uh, maybe eBay but they have something similar they have TV capture cards uh, but the quality is outstanding if you ever have any shows you want to record and instead of spending all the time download them with your computer you know, on a torrent side or whatever wherever you go to this is invaluable it's so easy to take a Blu-ray quality MPEG, say, you know, this TV show here, if I was recording, the average file size would be like 5 gig, okay? Now, with the editing software, you can cut that down, cut the commercials out, and you can get like a 3 gig file. And you can get that in, I would say four minutes of processing time. If you cut out, let's say it takes you five, ten minutes to cut out the commercials. You process it with the certain settings to the MPEG and it will just cut and paste all those scenes together, make a true MPEG and you can you can transport it on your hard drive to another entertainment computer or just play it. No commercials. Okay, here's a little bit of the... Uh, quality uh, of course I've got a camera shooting this so you don't get the full effect but this is 
the best quality uh, you, you can get. You can't get this kind of quality through direct, direct TV or Dish or anything like that. This over-the-air st- stuff is the raw, the the good quality. So I highly recommend a capture card. Now, um, I think I went through some of the settings of the capture card. Let's go back here. Um, it has TV. It has video. uh player features it has fm you can get fm through here uh you can just play regular music or you can take snapshots um it's 3264 bit uh this one uh came out when uh, before windows 7 uh so this just says microsoft xp um but there is an updated uh media center that's what you just saw the interface here and let me hit the back arrow so you can see the interface it's got time shift record oh you can schedule recordings on this also a lot of stuff you can do with this media center uh, so getting back to the box here um, there's a different look at it uh, of course, there's settings here. Um, Japanese. Uh, they call it the Personal Media Center. Uh, it says H.264 recording, HDTV. I'm pretty sure that's what they are talking about with the MPEG. Um, the minimum requirements. Okay. Um, TV signal. So you got to get the antenna. I suggest I did another video. I suggest I highly suggest you watch the other video of the View A, View TV AT-163 video. It'll have like a um, little uh, schedule or a electronic program guide as the front picture uh, in blue. So I recommend that because that goes through all the antennas you need. I got a 360 antenna, so you don't have to turn to get certain certain stations. Okay, the specification. This, all right. Um, it says uh, Intel Pentium. It, it's a 2.4 gigahertz, um, but the computer I'm using right now. Is just a one gig, one point two gigahertz uh, compact, and it's dual core, and it works just fine. No glitches, nothing. Uh, of course, I don't run anything heavy, heavily when I'm recording. I've just, I just have a like an eighty gig hard drive recording these. So, oh yeah, more of the specifications. All right, where is it? DirectX 9, 128 meg video card. You don't have to have a massive me- uh, video card here. Um, 500 meg hard disk space. Of course, I only have an 80 gig. Uh, PCI Express slot. Um, analog TV and MCE platforms. Intel 3. Or Intel four or or equal. All right. I think that's all. Did I miss something here? HDTV format. MPEG two only for the H for the HDTV. So it's MPEG only. Now they do have um, compressed formats, but it's much smaller. Uh, you don't get even the 720 uh, I think the 320 by 240 uh, there's a lot of the compression uh, will just be real small so you would have to be an egg pe- egg MPEG format which is like I said an hour show would be about over 5 gig uh, Pentium 4 hyper threading analog TV Intel dual core 1.6 gigahertz or equivalent AMD processor for digital TV. Now I have a little bit under that and it works fine. I 
think that's all for the, of course, sound card and uh, XP or um, Vista. So I'm, I'm running it on a uh, Windows 7 machine, and it works just fine. Okay. Um, like I said, this, this coax, you can see the little silver box. It, it runs around the house. So the signals are boosted. It would have to be boosted for this. And I get uh, just as good as quality as in the front room. So it's wrapped all the way th around the house. So that's, gosh, I don't know how many feet. Uh, maybe 100 feet or more. So let me... Uh, I think I went into the connections here. I didn't go into some of the settings. If you're curious, there's a lot of settings in here. Let me get out the the TV shows in the corner there, which I like. Uh, radio, I really haven't got that set up or to play video. Let's go into the settings for the TV. Configure... Uh, digital TV, you can configure the signal, manage programs, configure recording. Uh, this is always set to the source format and it has the TV source is HDTV with H264 format. This program will, will be recorded into MP4 format automatically. Now it's never really done MP4. Um, here's some of the it just has source format, audio only, Windows Media Video, Windows Media Audio, H.264. I'll hit that, and I've never tried this before. You hit edit, and it just has the main uh, settings, main profile. Now, here, the video size is 320 by 240. So if you're thinking, you know, we can get this high-quality Blu-ray kind of quality into a f smaller file size you're going to have to do some post editing for that and I'll get into that maybe in another video or maybe slightly here so it's pr you're pretty much left to just the source format which is whatever's coming across you know the the 1080p some some TV channels are 1080p some are higher or no some are low uh, like the CW, I think, is uh, 720p. Let's go back. Um, there's an electronic program guide, and that's where you would record or set your shows to come up. Let's go back. Let's go to that, as a matter of fact. Let's go... Okay, we have to go using this weird uh, system they have. Uh, electronic program guide right here EPG now that will show all the information of what's coming up now let's say I wanted to record uh, let's do some public television 1916 the Irish Republican Army or Irish something if I double click on it okay 1960 Irish Rebe Rebellion this is public TV um okay scheduling it shows some of the details scheduling we hit scheduling and it and here it comes up with the specifics avermedia h788 pci hybrid analog atsc that's the card that we're using the and it'll actually put the name on there uh, silent recording, this is great. Um, you can have it to activate and actually show the program. Recording or silent recording. Uh, the rec recording, it just comes up and it shows the picture and everything like that. The silent recording really doesn't show the video output. Uh, that's kind of nice if you just want it to record. Uh, and after it's after the recording's done, you can have it launch live TV. Uh, exit, log off, standby, hybrid, or power off. So a lot of good things. You could use this basically as a PVR, uh, your personal video recorder. Uh, just have them scheduled, uh, come on, record, 
uh, power off or just stand by. Uh, very nice. This this is for if if you want to record something, uh, maybe later to reduce it down so you can stream it um, or have the original uh, or just watch the original when you first see a new program. So I'm not going to I'm not going to save this. I'm just going to back out of it. But that's how. Let me show you some more. Um, source ATSC. Uh, there's analog composite or video. So if this card can also just pull video from, like if you've got Direct TV, you can just tell it um, to use the composite. And it has this card has a composite in, so you you just feed it in there. Uh, channel name. Okay, we're gonna hit cancel. Well, let me see. What's? Oh yeah. Uh, once weekly, daily. Um, it'll have the available hours on the hard drive uh, that you can record so you can keep a handle on that uh, source format you can tell it what format uh, most of the time it'd be the source format that's where the quality comes in duration if you want to split the files up into smaller segments um, working directory to replace it I have a separate hard drive just for videos. I process and stuff. It makes it easier so the if the computer is working, it's not going to be bothered by the recording. But I've also recorded on the hard drive of the the main operating system and there's no glitches I can see. So that is kind of some of the scheduling there um, look ahead um, it usually only goes let me see how far I can push it probably about let me see seven hours no probably about five hours right now so that gives you the little look on the the how to program uh, the IPEG, I really haven't done anything with that. Oh, that just brings up a website to a old website that doesn't work anymore or is not really relevant to my area. Um, time shift. Usually these are so well, so they process so fast that, um, and here I think it'll let you do the the processing but the, this is so fast it's usually just uh, about 190 milliseconds off so this must be recording yeah that was recording uh, and I haven't really ever needed to to do the time shift because it records so fast oh and as far as recording fast um, usually your source has interlaced frames okay and I'll get in that get into that in the uh, maybe next video the editing but what this card does is take the interlaced frames what you see right here and it merges them becoming de-interlaced de so it's a true um, a true good quality video without any lines uh, and that's all done on the board so you don't have to do any processing with um, third-party software uh, like I'll show you here you will never need to go into any kind of filters and have this um, de-interlaced frame uh, you'll never have to combine these frames, these interlaced frames, with an MPEG that's processed with this with this program. Very nice. Um, I should get into the other Avermedia product. Uh, 
uh, I'll just touch on it because it's basically the same. But it has a little um, express card here. You just plug it in. You plug the antenna coax to this. Bam, you can get all the stuff on the go. Uh, it has like a little antenna in, in here. So you can just take this out on the road and uh, put the little antenna up, hook it up. You've got TV. Um, I always I always used to, uh, whenever I had MMA, I would also use this with uh, virtual dub. And I could, and I did, whenever I'd buy a pay-per-view uh, of UFC, basically I would just, when I had DirecTV, I've, I haven't had cable since 2010. Uh, but when I had DirecTV, I would just plug in the uh, coax or the RCA composite to here right into this little slot basically I'd plug it in there and then I'd get a TV signal and then of course audio oops then of course the audio would go into here so I'd have to have a line to my computer for headphones and I'd record the pay-per-view so I could save the the money I spent on the pay-per-view. I could just record it with virtual dub. Uh, they have a capture uh, setting. Uh, just capture um, uh, about the same size this video uh, is is. As a matter of fact, I'd always use about seven about 720 by 400 or something like that. Save all my uh, pay-per-view buys so I could watch them again if I want because when you pay for something, it should be yours. So I highly recommend the Aver Media uh, Aver TV Hybrid Nano Express. Um, but that's touching on that. Um, I did say that I wanted to get to some programming here. Let's say you record, uh, this was uh, uh, whatever show this was. Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Um, that's that's going to be a little bit better quality. This, I'll just put up this show I'm doing for my mom. Uh, it's a Western. The quality is different because the quality that was sent way back then is more of a, a 720 by 480. So that's what the Rifleman was recorded and what they're sending now and I do use I highly recommend you find the view ATV or view eight yeah view TV AT 1-163 that video on the IB band channel and I highly recommend because it goes through all all this but it's a 720 by 480 show um, basically you would uh, find the commercial. You would say if you want to cut it there, you'd hit this little uh, A portion. Find the find the end. Hit B, and then hit cut. So edit, cut, and there are shortcut keys. Basically, that would cut out. I just cut out that whole commercial or most of it. So when I flip through here, it should pretty much skip most of it and go right to the program. I kind of missed a little bit. I didn't get all the commercial. But you can see how easy that it is to cut. And you would use the uh, you'd use the MP or no, just the copy on both the video and the audio, and the format would be MPEG dash TS A plus V. And all you do is hit save save video and it would save it in a matter of seconds uh, or minutes I should say couple minutes it would just copy this together and you would have one flawless uh, video all put together in uh, DVD quality that you could go and burn to a DVD if you had such software um, another thing I do is either XVID and MP3, I'll just I'll just uh, take the uh, like something like this would be like an 800 gig 
file. What I do is I go to Xvid, Xvid. I would pick my settings. I want it a certain quality, and that would get me down to a certain size so I can actually stream it. So I usually have it about 250 to 300 meg per show, and that's what this these settings would do. And I'd of course I'd have to have this deinterlace filter on there. And if I wanted to resize, I could, but I'm not. And then I would just process this. I'd hit save, save video. So it would save uh, with this setting, uh, XVID, MP MPEG4 ASP XVID. So it would basically sh make an AVI about 250 or 300 meg and ready to watch, ready to put on the cloud, stream it whenever I want. Um, there's also, for Blu-ray quality, uh, there is the advanced codec. Uh, that's X264. Uh, it's a free codec. Uh, the settings are complicated, but there's plenty of documentation on my website and on the website of Avinimux to help you figure out what you need to set. Uh, once you set it, you save your configurations. Here I've got the flash. So I just hit like uh, the CW has the flash. I just take the settings that I always have the flash on, select it, it's ready to go. Uh, of course, I resize it down to something I want to stream. I have several different kinds. I keep the original cut-down version, uh, the MPEG, the original quality, just in case I want to go back, or if I want to burn that whole um, episode to one DVD or Blu-ray, whatever. Uh, if I want to redo the quality, um, I will just use the AVC, that's X264. Um, what I like to do when I stream that is I go to the filters and I will go to crop, or no, not crop, it would be uh, resam no, uh, M player resize, change image size. I'd pick 720 by 480 or no, 720 by 400 for the CW. Um, and I'd always want to round to the nearest 16th. Uh, that would get it down to, to a good streaming size. And then, of course, the codec will bring out the, the amount of quality per each scene. Um, and there you've got like a 300... Uh, 60 frames a uh, uh, minute or a second for like the MPEG that I was talking about the source quality uh, this records it and I forgot to tell you about this the 60 frames a second but don't worry about reducing the frames down to 30 frames a second it doesn't make any difference the compression uh, does an excellent job and any repetition uh, the more quality the better for me and I can get it look like it, I can get these videos to look. Um, I can get these videos to look uh, Blu-ray quality and still down to 300 meg. It can be done, and 60 frames a second to boot. So you have got smooth, good quality stuff, and that's what the AverMedia does. Uh, it records the source format. Uh, you can't get anything better. You can't get it off Draft TV. So um, I hope this has convinced you to uh, go this route. Um, you could spend hours on torrent sites. Um, you know, just uh, trying to download your favorite shows. Sometimes you have to wait. Um, what like? Um, uh, several days or the whole season in order for a whole season to be all ready for you do it yourself uh get a card like this it's it's pretty easy and i and keep on this channel for um other videos what i'm going to do is i'm going to go into more detail more detail on how to basically edit these mpegs um i'll go more into the settings more into the freeware uh, there's a couple different, you know, freeware. I haven't gone myself into the H.264 yet, uh, but there's a lot of codec. There's 
um, just a lot of information I can't put on uh, just this episode. Um, this is just to tell you, you know, what's out there, a good alternative uh, to torrent sites, uh, downloading your favorite shows. Record them yourself, get rid of DirecTV, uh, just go all digital yourself. You, I save probably 80 bucks a month just by doing it myself no direct tv um i go online watch all my new shows maybe an hour after they've aired um or if they're on free tv i'll just record them save them so i can view them uh whenever i want later on or upload them so i don't think i have anything else I could go into the different antennas, but I think I'll save that. Go to, and I think I'll have the link up. Um, go to uh, the View TV or the uh, Media. Oh, what's the other one? It looks just like the View TV, the Media Sonic. Um, that has a PVR function. You can use like a thumbnail, and the the video that I showed you. Uh, editing that uh, Western uh, was actually recorded on just a thumb drive. Uh, I do have uh, USB hubs I use, so I don't wear out the the USB on the the converter box the, for the PVR function because I put this in and out every single day, at least once or twice. So I highly recommend a USB powered USB hub. Um, I've used a hard drive. Let's see if I can get it. Oh, that dropped. I've used this before, um, just on a converter box. It's a Toshiba 500 gig. With not much success, uh, I need... This is uh, USB 3.0. I had to put a powered hub on it. Or, yeah, powered hub. And the converter box is not able to keep up in some instances with the like the CW uh, so you would have it and it would seem all on here but there would be sections where it would be just like totally gone nothing there uh, so the con converter boxes aren't really able to handle much and I don't think you can do like the CW with the 720p it really comes out choppy so this is why I did this video is this doesn't take a real big computer to work and flawless video your own to keep um, uh, I do recommend the the converter boxes for some shows like westerns and old shows but there's no there's no getting away how much easy how fast how good a quality you can get with this so, um, if that hasn't convinced you, I don't know what will. Just remember, um, the antennas, uh, get a 360. Uh, watch my other videos for on the converter boxes because uh, you can combine the converter boxes with this. Uh, you can split it. I have, I think, two splitters. One splits to the converter box, and then the, the splitter comes around to another TV. That splits off onto the picture that you saw today, and it's still at 100%. So you can split this many times. I'm not sure if watching it all at the same time is that good on the signal, but I, I have not had any trouble with this. So it's worth the, it's worth the price you pay. Uh, ease of use, get your entertainment PC going. Uh, you will not regret any of this, buying any of these kind of cards. If you can't find this card specifically, the Hybrid Express, because I don't think they, I think they have something similar to this. Just get a, uh, oh, and then your card too. Um, the PCI E slot, that is. Uh, just a little slot here maybe this would be better to just show it on here 
let me get this uh, full screen for you. Um, it's just about, it's not even the size of that end of the USB. Let me get a, something to point to. But it's just about an inch, inch and a half that, on the card itself. So it's one of those little slots, the express slots. It's not the big, you know, for sound cards, they've got a lot of teeth on them. This one just has a, just a little tiny express. So you'll have to make sure your computer has that. Or get a different card that has a different setup. But I try to stick with Avermedia because I love their products. I've gotten two of these just in case because they don't sell these anymore, I don't think. So if you ever get a chance to get uh, an Avermedia Hybrid Express or um, Bravo Hybrid PCIe, please do so. Uh, you won't regret it. So I better leave leave it there. Uh, any more questions, uh, just leave it in the comments section. I'll try to make another video, uh, an update, in case I missed anything, because this is a one-shot deal, one-shot video. So keep it on the ID Band channel for more videos that, that help you... Uh, with your daily life, just uh, your entertainment life. I think I'll leave it there. Come back to the ID Band channel. If you ever need to print CD labels, then try my program Data CD. Just go to the URL below and follow the steps and get a custom version with your name for only $5. Labels like CD, DVD, case, jewel case, or slim CD case, DVD case booklets, even paper-only CD cases. Just fill in the three text boxes, no configuring, just simple labels, and click print.